time to give Todd some hair. So Todd doesn't look that happy about that now. Why? Because Todd knows I'm going to give him many different bad hairstyles. It all starts with creating a skull cap. And a skull cap is a selection of faces that you'll grow hair from, whether you're extruding hair or painting hair using X-Gen or some other method. This gives a form-fitting object that fits on top of the head that allows for physical interaction if needed. If not, just from extrusion, it gives an easier way to extrude from a simplified model. I pre-selected faces, right-click and select membership. In order to get here, I turned on polygon symmetry. And then I did a marquee selection on the face level. And then I picked up, and then I picked up the paint selection tool, made a brush bigger, and I spent some time going around Todd's head, making sure all the faces are selected that will make up the skull cap. If you want to deselect using this tool, hold down the control key and just paint away. You can resize the brush with the B key. I'm going to go back to my original selection, which is here. The next step is to duplicate these faces to create the skull cap. Under Edit Mesh, Duplicate, and then just drag this out a little bit, this arrow for a tiny amount of separation, and that's it. I'm going to apply a different texture to this. There's no real need to apply texture, but you can see if you're doing a very low budget character for a video game, maybe you can't afford the polygon count in order to create real hair. So first you might try starting to create hair using a skull cap like this.